first fish of the day here. A nice little, uh, nice little bass on the uh, buffalo chatterbait. There he goes. All right, guys. I already have my first fish of the day. I just missed two on the chatterbait. I didn't have any regular ones, so I had to use a bucktail, so I just put a little swim bait on it. It's uh, not really overcast, a little sunny, with very windy conditions. Very windy. I've had a couple strikes at the bank already with this chatterbait. Uh, oh, just missed one. Got one. Nice one. It's fighting hard. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh my god. Wow. Holy Jesus, it's a nice fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shoot. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Look at that bass. Look at that big bass. Nice, like, three-pounder on the chatterbait. Oh, my God. Wow, what a fish. I'm going to get a couple photos and release it. Got another one. Another fish on the chatterbait. What a beautiful bass. Sorry about the background noise though. Here she goes. Most of my fish seem to be coming off this pipe over here, just casting the chatterbait near it and rolling it really slow and steady. I've been on a new trend now of using barbless hooks, which prevent the fish from really getting gut hooked. And it really helps a lot. So I get really close to that pipe and I roll it on out. Usually get hit a couple feet out, which leads me to say that they're probably under the pipe. Just had one get off right by me, right by the pipe. I noticed when I first got here and I started using the chatterbait, I was rolling it too fast because I had a fish chase it right up to the bank and didn't have any interest in it. So I figured, well, I better go slower while I do it. So I'm just rolling it really slow, flipping it, pitching it out there, rolling it very, very slowly. Got another one. Mm. Oh, what a jump. Another nice bass. There he goes. Another one. Back to back casts. If you're wondering why I'm getting these fish on land and then picking them up is because of the barbless hooks. That's the one thing that is bad about them. Another nice bass. Was rolling my chatterbait above the water and a bass just came up and then I, oh it just came off came up and annihilated it. God, I could probably put on a top water right now. Oh my God. That was so cool. Already back on with another one. This corner's stacked with them. Here he, oh, shoot, he's going under there. There he is. A little, little pipe bass. Another one. I thought the bite was going to die down for a sec. But, because I hadn't got a fish in like over five minutes. Wow. Marble soaps pop right out. Another fish. There he goes. Here's another one. Wow.
Easy, 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 easy. Another chunky and healthy bass. Just catching these three and four pounders, waiting for a, a nice six. There he goes. After I shut off the camera to conserve some battery, I uh, had a f nice fish on, got off. I'm going to give this bank a rest because I've caught like seven fish out of it. And there's all this pond to look forward to. So, yeah. Got one. I didn't have it on camera, but hit it right at the bank. I watched him eat it. Inhaled a chatterbait. Nice old bass. He wants to go. Just caught this little one here. Easy, easy. Little bass. Alright guys, that's going to end for the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video I did of me catching a ton of bass at this pond. Um, well, that's it. Uh, it was a fun time out here catching these bass. I caught them all on the bucktail chatterbait because I actually had no other chatterbaits to use. So, thank you guys for watching and peace. Damn, Missy Mari got